What is going on peeps and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys like the type art install something very quick and small that I put together it wasn't something big that I was kind of just looking to do like a step-by-step -step install or whatever but let's go ahead and install this amber clock and yeah that's about it for today's vlog I'm gonna install a little amber clock I'm gonna show you guys how to do it how to do the soldering and how to do the heat shrink and make everything real nice and what wires to tap into when you're doing the clock because there's no harness for the clock if you have a USDM EK like I have you have to tap into the radio harness so yeah, let's get do it. Let's go ahead and start taking out the middle, uh, the middle uh, cluster because I got to take out like the whole part where the um, radio block off plate is and the AC and all that stuff in order for me to get to the cluster and do it nice and neat. So yeah, let's go. All right, in order for this to come out, this bottom panel has to come out from here. And yep, and then this will come out. I'm actually gonna take a quick break, believe it or not, because it's like 120 degrees out here in Miami and it's extremely hot. And I don't wanna get a freaking, a freaking heat stroke out here trying to change this panel. I'll be right back in a few minutes. All right guys, so we're back. And as you can see, everything is torn apart. Jesus, this is a huge hole this freaking dash has in the front for that. So. Let's go ahead and look at the front center console. It is already installed on the front. Basically, all you got to do is just put the two screws in the back right there that you see it. Hopefully, this gets a little focus. Two little screws in the back that go right there. That's about it. And you put it on, and it looks very good. I have to get a little towel to freaking wipe my sweat because it was so hot. I was gonna get, a, I was gonna freaking die out here having heat stroke, but. I said, you know what, I'm going to go inside the house and I'll come back to you guys. So let's go ahead and start splicing this. So basically the ones that you're going to splice, it's going to be ignition, ground, um, light, which is dimmer. And then I guess uh, positive, which is the first two up here. On this side, there's four. The first two on this side. The first one here. And then the last one down here. And that's the ones that we're going to splice. I'm going to go ahead and cut there because the reason since I have the radio here, <clears throat> I got to reroute it to the back, but the cables have to be long enough in order to reach out here. And I already did the connection for the little cables and the little wire harness. Basically, I extended them. I soldered them and I put a little bit of tape on it. I don't know where my heat shrink went, but since they're solder and they're on there pretty tight, and I also brought the solder gun there so I could kind of cut ahead. go ahead. Jesus, I can't speak English again today. I brought the solder gun so I could go ahead and splice it and keep doing it. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Let me get my little blade and start cutting it. And I'll see you guys now. So basically what I did was I grab one of the wires which is the ones that we're gonna connect and I stripped it I kind of made like a little bridge here and this is where the other wire is gonna go connect it and it's gonna go uh, solder together so yeah let's go ahead and keep doing that I'll come back to you guys when all these are done and I'll come back with a little solder time-lapse for you guys get this installed have that little clock looking very nice all right so I pretty much put on all the cables I mocked them up just to make sure that the clock was working and we got power and everything's good to go. Let me see if I change the hours. Yep, it's working fine. So let me go ahead and solder them, put them all together, and I'll come back to you guys with a quick install and a little time lapse of them. Let's go. This is pretty much it right here. Um, it's actually going through the back. The radio's already working. I'm just probably gonna tape it up a little bit here. It's probably not my best wiring job, but since I have a block off plate, the only thing that's gonna be up here is just 
these kind of wires. There's really nothing else running up here except, you know, those little things, but that doesn't really get in the way of those stuff. The radio's already on. The clock is already working. The radio's working. Uh, I'm going to assemble everything back. And yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and continue. Perfect working perfect and this is so slick So OEM looking which is basically what I chase for I chase for the OEM look And at least in this build that's what I'm going for. Let's go ahead and continue putting on the plastic And let's turn it on and make sure that everything is working perfect. I already did but let's just give it one more try One more try after I put everything back. Let's go All right guys, so everything working over there Boom, and everything working here and here. Looking amazing. I love it. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe. We are already 1,012 subscribers. I couldn't imagine ever getting there, but I finally got there. The winner for the steering wheel has already been contacted. It has already been the M. I will be sending the steering wheel next week. I've just been really cut up with work. And that's about it. I hope you guys like the content. I hope you guys like... Everything I've been doing little by little, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you, and subscribe.